Well, we're back in the bench with, uh, as you can see, Mr. Ellicraft K2, serial number 6203. I remember a while back, I got an audio filter in the mail, but I found out I didn't have the connectors. So the guys at Ellicraft were quite good. They shipped the five pin, the three pin, and a little standoff in the mail. And uh, I'll show you this first. So we do have this, 700 hertz, 400, and 200, and that's working nicely. But when I go for the audio filter, I get not installed because it's not installed. So let's see if we can install it. I don't think it should take very long, so we'll pull off. The I.O. connector, this is very tight. Maybe I should leave it on. <laughs> it is coming off, but boy, it's tight. Okay, that's off. And the speaker jack is there. And the RF jack is there for the, for the tuner. We'll set that aside. Then we'll turn it around. And we need a couple of screws off the front of the control board or the back of the control board. And let's see, we'll use this tiny screwdriver. And we'll put that in the bucket. And we'll put this one over here tight and you can see that we have firmware 204 which is good but I don't think it matters for this project and then I'm going to pull carefully up on the control board trying not to break anything okay and that is up well Set the radio aside. Then I'll give you a quick look here. So there's where we're headed. And you can see we have to unsolder the jumpers that go across the back. Those are R19 and R18. That bypasses the audio filter. I think... My cutting board is in order, so I'm getting out the cutting board. And let's see, we will turn this around. To hang on gently to, <laughs> that's a dilemma, maybe we won't use this. This board doesn't really have a nice place to hang on to. I do have a PC board holder. That might be better. All right, we'll just try using the cutting board without using the vise. Although I might be able to just hang on to the edge. There is a little bit of an edge there, so let's try that. I think that works. It certainly does. All right, let's try that. We'll get out the solder sucker. I'm over here off camera, adding a little water to the soldering station sponge. I think that's pretty good. I'll tin the tip a little bit. whilst not breathing it. All right, let's try this. That looked pretty clean. Not that clean. I 
better be careful. I'm gonna knock this loose. Well, so much for saying I'm going to knock it loose. I'll just knock it loose. All right, one more time. We'll lock it in this time so it doesn't move. Add a little bit of solder to that one. It's not flowing. Let's see what comes out. loose but it isn't they look pretty clean back here but they don't look clean enough apparently so we'll try that again no, I think that uh, each one of them has still a little bit of solder left on it. Let's try that again. well enough. I think it got left on and I really need to, I might even have to file it lightly. I'll give it a little pocket knife treatment on the side here. All right. That's a little shinier. Let's see how that goes. That worked. Now let's see if it'll pull out of there. Now I think we'll hang on from the bottom and from the top. One, okay, that's one jumper out, and we'll go for the back one, then we'll clean them up. All right, that's one side. Can't see. Okay, that's two. Now we can clean them up a little bit. I've been asked many times to get one of those fancy motorized suction soldering guns. I think I should get one.
All right, let's clean those off and see if we have enough for a connector. That's better. getting enough suction close enough there we go I think we're ready after this one all right let's see if we have any solder bridges and if not we will clean it off a little bit and uh, put them in. Looks good to me. I think we'll give it a shot. So this one is part number E620051. If you need a five pin female from Elecraft. And I don't see anything that looks like a number one marking. So let's try that out. That fits pretty nicely. And it fits firmly enough. I don't think I need to clamp it, but we'll solder one connector in and see how that looks. it up and make sure it's still flat it is still flat on the board so we'll do the rest Look pretty good. Now we'll get up the three pin, and that is part number 620009 from Elecraft. And they get their own little bag with part number and everything, so that's cool. Like I need to clean out the round hole. So we'll do that. how that works. We'll try it from this side first. Nice. Okay. You know, normally I've got a radio and some kind of CW going on. I think we might have to do that.
because there's a contest going on. Most all faster than I can copy, but... There you go. You get some extra credit if you copy some of the CW in the background. <laughs> All right. I'll hold my finger on this while I solder one of them, and then we'll take a look. Oh, we're in upper sideband. Let's see. That's better. Let's see if we can get who that is. All right, let's check that. That's a little crooked and a little lifted, so we'll do that with the handheld method here. There we go, I think that's sunk in. That looks pretty good. All right, two more and we can try this out. So we have the jumpers off. That means when we put the filter in, it will work. If you forget to take those jumpers out or if you put them back, it bypasses the audio filter and that's no good. All right, there we go. Then the only thing left is the last part, which is this, which is the 440 standoff. And let's look at that before we... And by the way, that is uh, E700057 if you're ordering one. And I've seen two different styles. I've seen this style and a round one with a slotted head, but that one looks good. So that will hold our control board in and give us a place to connect up our new audio filter. And back comes the radio. And one more check for something cold. I don't see anything cold or jumped. So I think we're good. And this, for the record, is a Rev B3R. So it looks much cleaner than the Rev A I was just working on. And uh, there's no funny business <laughs> with all kinds of wires all over it. And then I think it's interesting to see also where does the gate of that FET come from. It now has a trace right over to the MAX 534 instead of a jumper, so that's cool. Oops. All right, control panel's back in. So we'll put the new standoff on the right side. And I think one end of this screwdriver might fit that. No. Is it this end? No, <laughs> it's neither end. All right, then we're gonna do something terrible and just give it a little bit of a tweak with these. Good. All right, and then in the bucket, we have the other front panel screw, and it is a number one Phillips, so we'll use this. All 
right? And that is in. So now we can break out the eBay audio filter. So fingers crossed, I'm not gonna check the battery or anything. I'm just gonna put it in. <laughs> All right, so we get down below. The sideband board and our five pin should fit the five pin and the three pin should fit the three pin and they do and there's a screw hole waiting for the last screw in the bucket and That fits. Okay, we'll go get our top cover here. Here's our cover. So back goes the RF lead, the one that says aux, not the one that says power. And then uh, way up front, I'll show you that, the speaker lead is the white connector down in the right front corner. So we'll plug that in. There. And then plug that IO connector back in. And for the record, the green one goes on the top and pin one is unused. That's the other key point when you're putting these in. Oops. There we go. No extra credit for getting it off by a pin. Okay, I think we're ready to try this. I guess we'll go for the gusto. We'll put the cover on and put in one screw. That's our confidence factor. Somebody got a little long on that, on that cable. And I guess we'd rather have that, uh, I don't know if we'd rather have that around the receiver or the transmit side, but we'll, we'll leave it the way it is. All right, then one screw so it doesn't fall in. And an antenna on input one and not the original antenna and a power. And let's see what happens. So it's our turn to share the antenna. Well, it's still working. That's good. All right. So if I press, if I press a fill, we should get something here. Look at that. Pretty cool. Success. And we'll press a fill again. We'll get the deeper filter. That is very tight. Pretty cool. So there's audio filter off, AF1 and AF2, that's pretty nice. And then we'll try it with the crystal filter. There's 700 hertz, 400 hertz. And then we'll try on the audio filter. Boy, it gets pretty quiet. Pretty nice. Okay, well, there's a success. 24 minutes is a little bit long, but that's how long it takes to put in an audio filter when you don't have the connectors. So hopefully you got some part numbers out of that. And if not, maybe you watched five minutes of it. <laughs> All right, see you guys.